guys welcome back uh you already know this boy adam's link and this is my channel ninja boy please try as much as possible to like this video comment share it on all the platform invite your friend guys and please try as much as possible to click on that subscribe button below and uh click the bell of course to get notification anytime i upload and uh of course also try to follow me on instagram twitter facebook at adam's link media hi Honestly guys, let us be frank, it's really really hard to say Africa is not cause. Let us remove sentiment out of it, let us remove this picture we are trying to paint Africa to the world. Even if we know we are dying, we still want to praise Africa. But seriously, it's really hard to say Africa is not cause. So stay tuned guys, I'm going to tell you why I'm saying all this. Check out some of these few amazing transformations before and after pictures of some few Africans, majorly Nigerians, who have had that very slim opportunity to leave Africa, to study, relocate, reside in some of these few well-structured countries out there. Check out the transformation, guys. And what is the first thing that will come to your mind? Like, how? How? What is happening? They were staying in Africa, or let me use my country as an example, they, they were staying in Nigeria and uh, you see them looking so kept, even in the break of starvation, yet as soon as they leave Nigeria, as soon as they leave Africa to so these well-structured countries like US, UK, Canada, China, so much more out there. You can see the amazing transformation. Then some of you will think it's money. Some of you will think it's food. Some of you will think, oh, they are having, they are, the weather is good, all those kind of stuff. That's what you're going to think. But I don't think so. Yeah, I saw the picture. I was so amazed. I would be like, wow, you are staying in Africa. You look like this. And meanwhile, you just traveled. Some even traveled a few months. They are looking so incredibly, the change, the transformation is so, you can see it. Some will leave a year, the transformation is so clear, two years, three years. The most surprising one is someone who left Africa in two months and the transformation was epic. I'm like, okay, there's something truly, really wrong with Africa. I'm not even about to talk about the before and after pictures of these guys. Of course, I'm really, really happy for them, but we seriously need to discuss about this and know what is the way forward with Africa. Most especially countries with black skin. Or let me use the word dark skin. Stay tuned, guys. So, guys, I don't know if using the word cause is inappropriate, but tell me what other word should I have used? That is why you see those people who have shared this before and after pictures. They are so happy living in Africa. You see them giving thanks. That is the main purpose of them even sharing this before and after pictures. Just to show people that yeah, they have finally left Africa. And this is what they used to look like. And this is what they, they are looking like now. Some of them, you can hardly even recognize them. You can hardly even tell this is the same person. To this picture this before and after picture that is why you see some nigerians for example are so willing to go through libya willing to go through libya knowing fully well that libya is not safe libya people can discriminate and hold africans hostage turn them into slaves yet they are still willing to go through libya that is why some of them are still willing to go through desert some of them are even willing to stay under a boat. Knowing fully well that they might not make it, but they are still willing to go through that risk in order for them to go to what they know as better nations. And we were some few Africans who have the opportunity to pay, go through the legal way to fly abroad, are extremely lucky. Honestly, something is truly, truly wrong with Africa. I saw the picture, of course, I'm really happy for them, like the amazing transformation is so clear, like you start wondering. So I began to think that, see, it's not just being amazing, it's not just half time before picture, there's something in it. 
Is it that Africa is caused? Why is it that when Africans, black Nigerians, Ghana, Kenya, Sudan, those people, when they leave their home, they travel to another place abroad, USA, for example, UK and other countries, they tense the economic provide them the opportunity to utilize their skills, their ability, the same ability, the same skills that their home government failed to utilize. And so uh, I don't think it's about food either. It's not as if when they travel abroad, they now have access to good food, good water, good weather. Although food also play a, a good role in nourishing our body, but it's not about that. I don't think it's about that. It's not. For example, burger. I'm telling you now for a fact. This same burger, this same food, these guys eat abroad. That is making them glow, nourishing their skin, their body. Bring the same food, give it to an African man to eat continuously for a whole month. I'm telling you, it still will look the same. So it's not merely about food, but food do play a large role. But uh, when it comes to Africa, it's just little. It's not merely about food. I think it's about the heart, the mind, the mindset, rest of mind. Rest of mind, as we usually call it in Africa, as we usually say in Africa, rest of mind. Knowing for a fact that when you eat this one square meal a day, you're still going to get a good one. Knowing for a fact that when you go out, you'll be guaranteed security. Knowing for the fact that when you go to bed, you will have no fear that armed robbers or someone will do this to you. Knowing for a fact that when you wake up, going to work, you have job security. Knowing for the fact that the government cares about you. Knowing for the fact that when you fall sick, you have good insurance system there that will help you pay bills, assist you. Knowing for the fact that there are good doctors who want the betterment, your health, well-being in their mind. Knowing for the fact that there's good education. Knowing for the fact that the system will provide you all the necessity for you to, to succeed. So guys, it's not about food. Or do you think majority of Africans Living Nigeria, Africa, trying to travel out, do you think it's about food that is making them run away from this country? Ask majority of them. They will tell you it's not about food. We have all the nutrients of food that we can get in Africa. In fact, we Africans go directly to the soil to get our food. Pure, well cooked. It's not uh, something like, that, like, that is artificial. Well, and what I mean by artificial is something that, uh, uh, that is not fresh. Fresh food, we get it here. And yet, we still look, some of them look as if they are starving than what they look now when they travel abroad. I'm telling you now, it's because of rest of mind. Just as we Africa, we explain it. It's rest of mind. They know quite all right. They are in a system that is working. They know they are in a system that cherish them. Even if they are second class, third class citizens, they will still want to take that risk because they know for a fact that they have a system that is working. And a system that appreciates them, that will allow them to utilize their ability, utilize their skills. Because you cannot be living as a human being and you have, you know all those things, all those skills. You are educated, you are brilliant and yet you cannot make use of these things that you have. God has given you or the nature has given you and you cannot earn an honest living. We are in a country and what I mean by Africa, I don't necessarily mean uh, those light-skinned Africa but because when you go go to all those nations with light skin, a light skin nation in Africa, you see them doing well. But dark skin nations is something, there's something wrong, something wrong in those dark skin nations. Something is wrong. Something is really, really wrong. 
and we cannot continuously blame them on white people some will say oh white people stole we cannot continuously be blaming them we need to start demanding our own people because when you check our own government they have all this money they but they rather continuously looting 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 and looting that is why you see in the family all the family members are in politics one is local government chairman one is senator one is house of assembly one is a governor one is a uh, is a minister one is an ambassador just like that Shia families have that benefit in Nigeria and yet their their whole mindset is to loot and nowadays when you go to uh, the street in Nigeria for example ask any man out there that okay if you are given the opportunity to be a president of Nigeria today what will you do or a state governor what will you do I'm telling you that person will tell you that he's going to get his own share simple because we have been breed we have, we have they, they have they have implanted that system of looting almost into all of us is crazy so let me tell you again guys this before and after pictures though i love it but those of you who are thinking that oh it's because of food it's not it's not merely because of that there's something really wrong with africa they loot and loot and loot and loot and let's talk, not talk about what looting can cause a nation. Uh, is it insecurity? Is it lack of education? Is it a uh, lack of medical care? Is it lack of uh, welfare? So many other factors. And also, it contaminates our environment. It contaminates our, the air that we breathe. Because when you have a corrupt system, some companies will come into Nigeria that ordinarily are not supposed to function in a well-structured country they can come into Nigeria because they know they can bribe their way through they will allow them to function here and their process the way they produce their product the government know fully well that it will contaminate our hair the environment that will stay and will give us health issue but because of the corruption and so much more you see them functioning in Nigeria and also that might you will think that oh nothing's happening but honestly it just takes few years before you start seeing the result of contaminated environment it takes few years and let's not talk about the dump site everywhere have you ever been to Lagos have you seen the dump sites come on all those things are factors of corruption and majorly insecurity. You are in your bed, you have eaten well, go to bed, but your, the food that you have eaten is not functioning well in your body because you are thinking. You are thinking of the next meal. You are thinking if you're going to make it through the night. You are thinking if you go out, you won't be arrested by the police who doesn't want you to succeed and also the police who is being discriminated at his or her workplace that the same police will come out to try to discriminate you everything that is why you see major things that are ordinary supposed to work function is in our body doesn't function well in people staying in africa you eat a burger in the u.s eat it well the burger the nutrients in that burger will function well in your body bring that the same burger that you have eaten in the usa bring it to nigeria and let me eat it i'm telling you that burger won't function well the same way it has functioned in someone's thing usa body i'm telling you that's just a straight fact because i'm thinking about the next meal because i'm thinking about something else i know some people will be like oh nobody there's this popular say that nobody's ugly that is just because we don't have money yeah it's true and money can give you rest of mind but also money cannot give you security in, in this country Nigeria money in this country having money in the loan like just you cannot guarantee you security because the government who are supposed to make sure that security is there are not even ready 
So when I see these pictures before and after pictures of some few Nigerians, I was really, really amazed and I know well, even me here. You see that uh, I don't look that well, looking scattered or whatever you might say. Honestly, give me just two months and let me have a visa to travel or stay in USA. I'm telling you, you won't recognize me when I, uh, when I come back to this country, to my country. You won't recognize me. Then you, be, you began to wonder why. It's the rest of mind. The rest of mind knowing fully well that you are in a nation that works. You are in a nation that when you pay tax, you see the benefits of those tax. You are in a nation where you know quite all right that you will go to bed and nobody will knock on your door at night or kidnap you. You are in a nation, you know quite all right that you will embark on a road trip and you won't be harassed by the police, you won't be harassed by the soldiers, you won't be harassed by kidnappers and robbers. I'm telling you, it's all way around. So, what should I have used? Is Africa not cost? Yeah, is Africa not cost? I want to know, I want you to tell me, no, Africa is not cost. Really, what is the way forward, guys? Why the, and also you see these uh, politicians, these rich men sending their children abroad to school, to live their life, of course. Why do you think they are sending them there? Because they want them to enjoy a good system that works. And yet, they don't want the system of Africa to work. It's not even all African nation. I mean, African nation with blacks, with dark skin. What is wrong with them? What is wrong? What, where are they getting it all wrong? Should, should I start naming the lack of opportunity in this country? Should I start naming it? Like using my own country, Nigeria, as a case study, should I start naming it? So many. Lack of opportunity. We have so many graduates every day. Our parents force us into schools. There's no even another Apart from schooling in this country, there's no other field that will guarantee you success in life in this country. Like other schools abroad, of course, there's sports units, there are engineers, there are other factors there in school that if you are not academically brilliant, you can easily switch to other factors in school that will guarantee you success in future, knowing fully where you are good at it. So guys, uh, meanwhile, I think I'm going to end this video here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. And uh, the title of this video is 